After a 24 year long period, the Polos returned to Venice in 1295, barely speaking their native tongue and their family thinking they were long dead. At that time, Venice was at war with Genoa, and in 1298 Marco financed his own war galley to participate in this war. He was captured during a naval battle at the Battle of Corzola, and ended up in a Genoan prison. During his stay in prison, Marco, a skilled storyteller, entertained his fellow prisoners with tales of his travels to the Mongolian Empire. One of his cellmates, Rusticello da Pisa, wrote down these stories and the result of these tales became known as the Travels of Marco Polo and became Europe's primary source of information about China until the 19th century. In 1299, Genoa and Venice declared peace and Marco was released from prison and returned to Venice. He married Donata Badur the following year and had three daughters with her, Fantina, Bellella and Moretta. Marco spent his remaining days as a businessman, dying on January 8th, 1324. On his deathbed, many people asked Marco if all the tales from his book were indeed reality.